Hello everyone, Four Bricks Ake here. Today we have another 10k LEGO idea submission. Motorized Johnny 5 by RJ Brick Builds. So this designer has submitted a couple of projects to the contest side of LEGO ideas, and they have had one expired project in the Rocking Chameleon, which only had 517 supporters. So it's amazing that you've hit 10k with this one. And this is obviously the star of the 1980s movie Short Circuit. There was also a sequel to that, which was Short Circuit 2, and a TV special called Hot Cars. And this is a very beloved robot. The total face count for this one is 2,711. And the weight for this set is almost 3 kilos. So it's a heavy boy. Before making this video, I had not seen anything about Johnny 5 or Short Circuit. But after watching some videos on YouTube, I feel like this definitely led the way to Wally being created. This model is fully motorized using powered up motors and hubs and controlled through the mobile device using the powered up app. The model can move around on tank tracks and uses skid steers to change direction. The arms can be raised and lowered individually using the app. The fingers can be adjusted manually as well as the elbows. The head can be tilted and turned and the eyebrows can be manually adjusted to suit the desired facial expression. The final power function on this set is the laser at the back can be raised and lowered using the powered up feature. So it's great you can do all those functions using the app and I think that's incredible designing to make that a reality. Actual design wise of this, it reminds me of set number 17101 boost, especially in the face. And I really wonder if Lego designed that set inspired by Johnny Five to begin with. Like even the fact that the accents of the robot in the boost set are blue. And look, I don't know whether that's a good thing or bad thing for this Johnny Five project, to be honest, but it is interesting to know. Look, this content is very cute straight off the bat, but the issue is I don't think this IP has lasted as long as other classic films from the 80s, like Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Star Wars, like just to name a few. And I think that's going to be an issue for the set. And also this would be a huge set and all those motors and power function features you need to build into the set would make the set quite expensive. So I think those are the issues for this set. I still think this is an amazing design. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe to get updates on all the new videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think the likelihood of this set being accepted and I'll catch you in the next one.